Hello there and welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're going to be playing with the new Lord of the Rings magic set, Tales of Middle Earth. So join us as we tell our own epic tales with these heroic heroes and villainous villains. Hey what's up, it's Jason and today I'm playing Tom Bombadil. My plan is going to be to cast as many sagas as possible, and my win condition is going to be to tell so many stories that my opponents either fall asleep or give up due to boredom. Hey, I'm Eddie, and today I'm here playing Frodo, Sauron's Bane. Hopefully in the deck, because we're just going to break some kneecaps. Hopefully we're short enough to just stay under their radar. Hi guys, it's Corbin. I'm back. Today we're playing Gandalf to the Grey, and I am running... Hold on, checks notes. Wizard mid-range aggro tribal. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hi, I'm Brendan, and today I'm playing Soren the Lulus Eye. Instead of doing Rakdos cruelty today, the whole idea is to not get my kneecaps busted. Alright. Let's go. I get a six. Eight. Six. I also have a six. Six, six, six. six. I'll go last. Finally. Your luck is ending. This is not a very fast hand, but I'm gonna go for it. This has no hands. I'm going to attempt. We'll see how it goes. This hand's fun. Is this playable? Yeah, I think so. This hand plays magic. Let's go. I will untap key draw. Holy Jesus Christ. We'll go ahead and planes, mana crypt, uh, one floating Saram. Whenever I cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle, draw a card with my one floating commander's plate and I will pass. Okay, my turn, draw. I will not play a mana crypt. Um, uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. what will I play instead? Mystic Sanctuary tapped. Pass. Her. Verdant Catacombs? Yeah, we're gonna pop Verdant Catacombs. <laughs> yeah, we'll be shocking in the blood crypt. Ooh, look at that turn one plaza. We're gonna remove Simeon Spirit Ape from my hand from the game to add one red mana to my mana pool. Is that a new card? <laughs> Guy, maybe? Yeah, you oh. know, who knows, who knows, you know? <laughs> Ragdose Signet. I will draw. Let's do a Verdant Catacombs. I'm gonna pop it. So have you guys seen the movies and or read the Lord of the Rings books? No, uh, movies kinda. I may remember some of them, maybe. I've seen the <laughs> movies and I'm trying to read the books, but I can't read, so. I read The Hobbit and like the first, like The Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> and um, I watched the original trilogy. Yeah, instead of reading those books, I read Stephen King's The Dark Tower series, which is Pretty about good. that life. I'm gonna grab a breeding pool, untapped. I did watch the movies way back when. How about time. The Hobbit? I didn't watch the Hobbit movie, no. That was a good call. Yeah. Okay, good. I watched the first of the three Hobbit movies and couldn't even finish There's it. There's three Hobbit movies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what the problem is, because yeah. the original Hobbit movie was just one, and it was an animated movie, it was okay. The Hobbit book's like this But thing. yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of that. We will, uh, <laughs> yo. I'm gonna pay one green for an ignoble hierarch, and I will pass my turn. <laughs> wow, sick. Hey, roll for that man and oh, yeah, you're, so right, you're right, you're right. I don't play it enough. No. You didn't even oh, say yeah. what you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Evens are good. Damn. <laughs> Swamp. Frodo is here. Sauron's Bane. Uh, I can pay a two white or black. If Frodo, Sauron's Bane is a citizen, becomes a halfling scout with base power and toughness two, three, and gains lifelink. I can pay three black if he is a scout. It becomes a halfling rogue with whatever this creature does combat damage to a player. That player loses the game if the ring has tempted you four or more times this game. Pay three. Commander's plate. He now has protection from everything that is not black or white. Go ahead. He has mithril armor. I will draw. I don't think I've made my wife laugh as hard as she did when I un like don't remember that bro's name, so I called him from Fro Baggy. I almost killed my wife that day. I'll play a Felwar stone. <laughs> Uh, do I care about any cards in my hand right now? No. Pass. Untap draw. Oh, wow. This guy's just surprised by every card he draws. We're gonna mark what happens and crack don't it. look at your deck prior. <laughs> I played the deck twice last night to get an idea. Bad lands. So you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna tap for a red and we're gonna gamble. Yeah. yeah. Who is your favorite Lord of the Rings hero? I think the obvious answer has to be Samwise. Carried the whole goddamn trilogy. Mm. That's what I was gonna say too, with Sam. Like just for the potato meme. Just <laughs> Sam stick him, mash him, put him in a stew. Because of the whole potato and the cooking thing, I have a card in here that's real bad. 
It's called hot soup. Perfect. I want to equip Samwise with hot soup to win. It's so hard to choose from. That's gonna have to be Gimli though. He enacts, you know, schizophrenic baby tossing energy. How many cards you got in hand? Uh, I got five. I have to discard one at random. Yeah, Alright, I'm one. gonna roll a dice for you. Okay, so. Six we will reroll. This will be pretty? one. One, five. <laughs> you don't say. Wow. That's not the card you tear of the peeps. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and play Jeweled Lotus. Oh. We're gonna play five, sack into Jeweled Lotus for Sauron. There he is. As Sauron enters, we're gonna go ahead and... He has protection for Yeah, us. I know, it's depressing. So you give me an extra mana. Yeah, I'll take your Noble Hierarch. It does have red and black. Yeah, man, you know what though? I'm gonna go ahead and swing one at uh, Jason. All right, cool. We did it. Untap, draw. <clears throat> Let's do a Temple Garden, untapped. I'm gonna go ahead and pay two for uh, Nature's Lore. I'm gonna search my library for a forest card. Who would you rather have sex with, Gollum or Treebeard? I'm, um, I'm gonna have to go with Gollum. Yeah. Sorry, tree folk sounds a little splintery. Like, who's penetrating who? I, that's up to you to decide. Okay. Look. <laughs> I think Treebeard is splinters both ways, though. Maybe. Because I hope he smoothed himself. <laughs> yeah, out. Can, we, can we use sandpaper first? <laughs> yeah. I think I'll take Andy Circus in this, in this case. I will say, if Golem treats my pressures <laughs> with as much conviction as he treats his pressures. <laughs> I might I have to you. go with I that. I hear you, but I'm a little scared. I saw him bite off Frodo's finger, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's because like, we somebody that, touched right? his pressures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I would choose Golem for sure. I'm gonna lose two life for a stomping ground, and then I'm gonna pay one green for an Elves of Deep Shadow. He's rampant. Untap, He's crypt, oh, looking oh. for evens. Still looking. Oh. You're doing my job for me. We'll go ahead and play this Marsh Flats. We'll go ahead and crack it. I'm gonna shock in the Godless Shrine from the fetch. We're gonna pay three. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cast this Sword of Fire and Ice. Gross. Trigger Saram, I will draw. I'm gonna pay two to make Frodo into a Halfling Scout with base power and toughness two, three, and gain lifelink. I will swing five on Sauron. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> then I will gain five. Frodo over here. <laughs> Swolo baggins, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I will pass the turn. All right, draw. Prismatic Vista. I'll lose a life and go get a mountain. What do y'all think Gandalf smoking in his pipe? Definitely <laughs> the that dark wizard evil. Body. Yeah, that dark evil shadow power. <laughs> what is it? Dark evil shadow garden? <laughs> yeah. The furious dark evil moon grass. Yeah. Shit was uh, watered by the blood of 10,000 dragons. <laughs> like, <laughs> I see. Uh, cards in hand? I have four. Uh, five. <laughs> I got three. Jessica's will uh, targeting you. So I'll make five red. I'll cast Gandalf. All right, I'll pass. I was gonna put like the ring tempts you effects in this deck, but then I was like, Gandalf doesn't care about the rings, bro. <laughs> he cares about the gunj. <laughs> <laughs> City of Brass. With you each lose two life. Uh, and I'm gonna swing six at Eddie. We're gonna, blood we're, gonna, we're gonna race commander damage. I'm gonna drop a Lotus Petal because I can. Pass turn. I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna main phase experimental augury to try to get some action here. So I'm gonna look at the top three of my library, put one of them in my hand, the rest in the bottom in any order, then I can proliferate. I'm gonna play a planes, pay two for Era of Enlightenment. I will scry two. I'm gonna pass my turn. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. Looking for evens. Planes. Oh. Sword of Fire and Ice onto Frodo. Still Shaper's Gift. I'm gonna search the library for an equipment, uh, reveal it, put it in my hand, and then shuffle. I just wanna grab a fun one. I've got some good ones now, let's grab some fun. We're gonna get the Prowler's Helm. Can't be blocked except by walls. A little Stormforge Mystic. 
we'll grab another equipment. How many hobbits do you think you could take in a fight? All of them. Bro, the whole village. <laughs> All of it's them. It's this motherfucker or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if we're going off like lore accurate hobbits, bro, none of them, none of them got this. Actually, mm -hmm. Samwise. No, Samwise might be able to fight me if he gets yeah. back to the village in time. How tall are they? Oh, they're like fucking three foot nothing. Like, <laughs> they can't be that weak. They're I like think it may be three or four. Three or four but I mean, no, all of them. <laughs> Look of what, think of a six year old kid. You think a six year old kid's really gonna do any damage? If to they're you? like stocky, the as shire. long as it's not the ones who win on the adventure, like we're golden. You I think you're I mean? underestimating hobbits. I'm no, the I'm power not, of I'm friendship. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sword and feast famine going to end. Go to combat. Yeah, Brennan, you're gonna have to take this. Seven damage. Combat damage. I'm going to go ahead and deal two to the Noble Hierarch. Okay. I don't even have And I draw a card. Not my turn. Blue, red. I'm gonna cast Merchant Scroll. Mm. Trigger Gandalf the Grey. Uh, I will copy target and center source use spell I control. I'll get two Merchant Scrolls. So High Tide and Frantic Search going to my hand. Ouch. Land for turn. Steam vents. I'll tap his island. Cast High Tide. I'll trigger Gandalf the Grey to untap this permanent. All islands tap for double until the end of turn. Uh, four blue, three red, or <laughs> Jesus. Five blue and one red in pool. <laughs> I'm going to cast Frantic Search. I'll untap these three lands and draw two cards. Gandalf deals three damage to each of you. Just card two cards. <laughs> um, is it Boilerworks and Brawl Chief of Compliance? I'll play Displacer Kitten. Yeah, that's a card. Cast Chrome Mox, trigger, I'll blink Gandalf. And I've got one blue, one red in pool. I'll cast Brainstorm. Uh, trigger Gandalf, I'll copy the Brainstorm. Trigger Displacer Kitten, guess I'll blink. Draw three cards, put two back. Do it again. No man in pool, I'll cast Mirren Safe House. Trigger Displacer Kitten. LR stone, I guess. As long as Mirren Safe House is on the battlefield, it has all activated abilities of all land cards and all graveyards. Uh, yeah, I'll pass Frickin' Tower. We're gonna pay six. I'm gonna swing for eight, and you're all gonna lose four. I'm assuming the eight's at me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, goodbye, Stoneforge Mystic. She dead. Fast, you don't even get yeah, I'm this. gurgling hard. I'm gonna untap, draw. This will get another counter. I will gain two life. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm gonna play an Arid Mesa, crack it. Uh, what do you guys think about the universe of Beyond sets? I think they're fine. I like them. I think it's hilarious when someone would bust out Optimus Prime. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and that's why I play Commander because of the mil like millions of cards, right? Like. Um, and the creativity that can go behind the decks. So just adding more stuff from other universes just further allows people to be more creative. I'm gonna grab a Hall of Fountain coming in untapped. Then we're gonna pay five mana, one of each color. Holy shit, he's doing it. Lose a life from elves to play Tom Bombadil. When a saga completes, I can reveal the top card until I hit a saga and it comes into play. I'll pass. Looking for evens off that crypt. Ah. We're gonna cast the Prowler's Helm. I trigger Srom, I draw a card. Dude, deck, please. Give me another black land. I'll play his planes. Frodo needs his final form. Yeah. I'll pay two for the Prowler's one Helm. One punch man. <laughs> he has got so much shit to him now. We've got a nice suit, helmet, a sword. Corbin, we're gonna hit you for seven. Sure. Okay. Um, I have no blocks because you have pro blue. Yeah. I'll gain seven and then I will deal two to something. Guess we'll get rid of the Displacer Kitten. Uh, I will respond. I'll cast Mystical Tutor, trigger, trigger. Uh, I'll blink itself. Illegal target now. I'll deal three damage to each opponent for your insolence. Ouch. Wow. I'm gonna go grab some funny stuff. I will on. draw a card from the Fire and Ice. I'm gonna put Arcane Endeavor on top of my library. Untap and draw for turn. Do we even have seven mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven mana exactly, uh, cause I have a, is it Boilerworks in my graveyard? <laughs> Pro plays. So I will cast Arcane Endeavor, trigger Displacer Kitten, trigger Gandalf. Gandalf will untap this permanent, and then Displacer Kitten is going to blink the Gandalf. Anguished on making Displacer Kitten. Sure. Bye, cat. Lose three life, Sucker. Yeah. I'm just getting lightning bolts to the face every like five minutes. We're rolling. Uh, I've got 
two fives. So I will draw five cards, and then I can cast a instant or sorcery spell with mana value five or less. Uh, so my instant or sorcery spell is gonna be Rite of Flame. I'm going to trigger Gandalf. Yeah, I'll just copy the Rite of Flame. Four red and pool. Land of Return is gonna be an island. Uh, five mana. Gilded Lotus. Mm, I'll pass sure. <laughs> We're gonna untap and draw. Uh, I'm gonna swing six. Y'all lose two. Nope. I think I can afford the six. <laughs> Were you all done after not playing a card again? Yeah. I'm gonna untap and draw. I'm severely lacking. <laughs> Beginning of my first main phase, this will get its third counter. Mm -hmm. It'll exile and come back in. When that happens, it'll trigger Tom Bombadil. I'll get hella triggered, and I will reveal until I reveal another saga. He's really mad that the story's over. Let's start a new one. No, it's the song specifically. Um, we're hitting Showdown of the Scalds. Uh, it's a it's a two two with first strike. Yep. Wow. And then this one will enter. <laughs> It'll get its first wow. counter. Let's go back from the bottom. Showdown of the Scalds. I exile the top four cards of my library until the end of your next turn. I'm gonna play those cards. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Wow, Tom Bombadil really popping off over here. We got a top, Xur the Enchanter, Binding of the Old Gods, Evolution Sage. I'm gonna play three here for Estrid's Invocation. It's gonna come in as a copy of Showdown of the Scalds. Every turn I can bounce it and have it become a copy of something else. I'll exile another four. Arcane Signet, Island, and Datha Triome, Overgrown Tomb. I'm gonna play this island. I'm going to tap for a black, lose a life, pay two for a Rhystic Study. And I will pass my turn. Untap. Crip, looking for evens. Who you got there? <laughs> you got a hairball? Got a combat <laughs> kill, <laughs> kill Brennan. <laughs> Gain seven. Deal two damage to, I guess the Elves of Deep Shadow. Sure. <laughs> and then I'll draw my card. Pay a black. Dark Ritual. Are you gonna pay one extra for a Rhystic Study? I will. I'm gonna cast Mana Drain. Oh trigger Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> Oh, okay. well, I guess I'll put him on top of my library. I will have one colorless mana in my mana pool during my next main <laughs> I'll pay two. Thieves tools. Were you going to pay an extra I for I did pay day? the one. I All tapped right. this for and three And are you going to pay one extra for that? Oh, sure. Oh, man. Not the best play, but the best play. <laughs> Draw a card from Thieves tool because there's some. Well, Jason, it looks like you're finally getting a card from that uh, Rhystic Study. I'm gonna go ahead and cast this sort of Feast of Famine. Draw my card because it's wrong. I'll untap. I'll draw. <laughs> I have one colorless mana. <laughs> I was expecting like an offer you can't refuse or something. No, that's not flavorful. Gandalf doesn't make offers to people. It's, he doesn't work with terrorists. Yeah, Very you solid. shall not cast. Like, yeah. that's it. So one, two, three, four, five. I will cast Gandalf the Grey. I'm not paying the one. Okay. I'm gonna cast Archaeomancer, not paying the one. Okay. I'm going to get back Merchant Scroll. I'm gonna cast Merchant Scroll. Paying the one? No. I'm gonna go ahead and swan song that. Merchant Scroll. Sure, you got that. I got a bird. Yeah. Uh, I'll pass turn. I'm gonna go to my turn. I'm gonna untap. During my upkeep, Estrid's Invocation will trigger. I'm gonna exile it. It's gonna come back in as Showdown of the Scalds. So I'll exile the top four. We got a Staff of Completion, the Akroan War, Mana Crypt, Zygoth's Triome. And then I will draw for turn. These will both go to two. Tom Bombadil, indestructible, because I have four counters on there. So whenever I cast a spell this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter and target creature you control. Tom's getting thick. Play Mana Crypt, trigger, trigger. And I'm gonna put both on this. A two for an arcane signet. Trigger, trigger. Yeah. We'll put them both on here. I'm gonna go ahead and pay a red and a green. I'm gonna That's play good. Arnie Slays the Troll. It's a saga. It comes in with one counter. Target creature you control fights up to one target creature you don't control. Trigger, trigger. He's gonna go up to an 8 8 first strike. Attack Frodo. How big is your thing? It's an 8 it's 8, an eight, eight first strike. So you're a 7 8. Mm. And it's fighting, so you don't have protection from good job. light. Got him. Frodo dies. Tram about to get strapped next to her. <laughs> I'm gonna play an Overgrown Tomb. Loose two. You're doing a lot of things over there. E. Play Crop Rotation. My target for that will be Temple Garden. And then trigger the Scalds. I'll put two counters on Bombadil. I'm gonna grab a land. We're gonna grab Sarah's Sanctum. 
Yeah. Tap silver white for each enchantment I control. That's a card. Yeah. One black, one red, one blue. And I'm going to tap this for four white. I'll have one white floating. The Horus Heresy. Five white? Can you four white. count? Oh, oh it's an enchantment creature, creature. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah, so I have two floating yeah, instead yeah. of one. Sure. Horus Heresy, you gain control of creatures? And as long as this is in play. Neat. We're grabbing Gandalf, and we're going to grab your one creature. Goodbye, Strom. Now we're going to start swinging. The eight at Eddie, and the six at Corbin. Sure. So I'll lose that mana because I lost track of where it was. But I am going to pay one for the Binding Top. Bomb Put the counter get one, Gandalf. Oh, okay. I guess <laughs> you could do that too. Uh, I'm looking for evens. Wow, look at that. Damnation. Tom is indestructible, but none of that other stuff is. So we'd kill those three creatures? That's fine, I guess. My burb. No. Goodbye, bird. Did you pay one extra for that? No. Okay. Pure steel paladin. Paying an extra? Nope. Okay. Whenever an equipment is about on my control, I may draw a card. Equipment I control have clip zero as long as I have three more artifacts. Uh, we'll sack the treasure for a black and pay one white for demonic critter. Oh. Paying an extra? No. So we're just going to equip everything here to uh, pure steel paladin. And I will pass. Draw. What is this? Neat. I'll play a soul ring and then cast Gandalf the Grey. Sick. Then I'll pass. End your turn, I'm gonna divining top. And then I'm gonna untap. During your upkeep, I'm going to pay one path Tom Bambadil. Did you pay an extra for that? No. Nope. Okay, I'll draw off that. Fierce Guardianship? Mm. Trigger your scalds? Feels bad, man. Yep. I'll get two more counters. During my upkeep, I'm gonna Vamp Tutor. I'm gonna lose two off the Vamp Tutor. Trigger the scalds. Tom's a big boy. And then I'm gonna put a card on top. Would you rather live in Mordor? or New Phyrexia? <laughs> I don't think either of those are That's not show. the question, Eddie. You know, I gotta say, I feel like this is loaded. <laughs> uh, new Phyrexia, because New Phyrexia has better drip. <laughs> yeah, orcs are ugly as a mother. Yeah, orcs are just gonna fucking eat you after they put you in a slave labor, okay? As long as you become a sheep, you get that drip. During my upkeep, trigger Astrid's Invocation. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a copy of Showdown of the Scalds again. Sure. Come back in with a one counter. I'll exile the top four. The Eldest Reborn, Esper Sentinel, Windswept Teeth, Strionic Resonator. Okay. I'll draw. The beginning of my main phase, these will all get a counter. So we'll just start here. Add a red, put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature you control. <laughs> He's a 14, 14. This one, I draw a card for each creature you control that you don't own, which is currently zero, because they are dead now. And then this one will go off. I will reveal till I hit another saga. We got the Trickster's God Heist. You may exchange control of two target creatures. Uh, you can switch your Tom Bambadil and his Gandalf. You, it's a must. <laughs> huh? No, it's you, mate. Oh, you may. Oh, okay, well then, so I guess you're I'm, not doing it. I'm yeah. not gonna use that. Let's go ahead and start with Dockside. When I cast it, he's gonna get two more counters. Neat. 11 treasures. Mm -hmm. All right. A lot of money. This doesn't really have a win condition, so it's just gonna have to be punching you guys with Tom. Oh, I'm gonna right. tap Sarah Sanctum for five white, four of that, and one treasure for the Eldest Reborn. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Son of a bitch. Neat. <laughs> Trigger the showdown that has left play, and this one, he'll get two more counters. Let's go ahead and use the last floating white for an Enlightened Tutor. He'll get two more counters. I'm gonna grab Birth of the Imperium. One treasure for an Esper Sentinel. Now he's a 20, 20. I'm gonna play this Windswept Teeth return. I'm gonna tap Crypt to play Dryanic Resonator. He'll get two more counters. Before I kill one of you, I'm gonna pay five for Birth of the Imperium. Sure. I create a 2-2 two -two Astartes Warrior Creature token with Vigilance for each opponent I have. So that'll be two of them. Okay, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm going to kill Eddie. Sick. I'm going to cast a Sylvan Library. I'm gonna give <laughs> Dockside two counters. I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna draw my land and then pass. Yup, called it, look at that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm dead. I'm still casting Gandalf, Kay. cause forget you. What an exquisite gentleman. Drip Avatar Wizard, God, did it. Trigger Astro's Invocation, <laughs> yep. I'm not gonna do it. Kay. I'll draw, 
And then we'll go down the line starting up here. So birth of the Imperium will get a counter. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Good night, sweet prince. The Horus Heresy, starting with you, each player chooses a creature. Destroy that creature? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one you have. Oh no, you're going to choose Esper Sentinel. Um, yeah, I'm going to just Stop destroy saying. my own thing. I'll destroy Esper Well, it's meant to destroy the creatures you stole, but like, you know. <laughs> I'm going to hit your Astartes warrior. Uh, we'll go over here. Each opponent discards a card. <laughs> <laughs> we go here. You may exchange control of target non-basic non-creature permanent that shares the type. Uh, I'm good on that. Oh, this one should have gone off. That'll trigger Bombadil. I gotta reveal until I hit another one. Elspeth conquers debt. Exile target permanent opponent controls with converted mech house three or more. We'll get rid of your lotus. This will trigger. It's just showdown of the scalds. I gain life equal to the power among creatures I control. Neat. 29. You did it. You're back up to 40. <laughs> yep. What are you doing here? I didn't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> confusing people. Yeah, so um, confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think that's the end. Uh, I will swing at you for 24. Alright, let's go. Let's let's dance. Alright. Bard boy. <laughs> Do you wanna like actually fight? No, him? I lost. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he started singing and I just packed up and went home. So <laughs> And Tom Bombadil is able to do the thing. He told a bunch of stories, sang a bunch of songs, and buried everyone in saga triggers until they were good and dead. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed that game. See you next time.